Hello dear student, welcome back MCQ practice series of book number logic controller part number 9. If you not subscribe my channel DHU Labs, I request you please subscribe it. I also request you please like and share it. Question number 1. Which one of the following timer parameter determine the accuracy of the timer? Option A accumulated time, option B reset time, option C base time, option D none of this. The answer is base time, that is a option number C. Question number 2, reset instruction is used with option number A, T on timer, option B, T off timer, option C, written t on rt on timer and option d none of these the answer is option number c Return T on timer that is RT on timer. Question number 3. The on delay timer T on start timing when the timer's option number A ladder run switches from false to true. Option B ladder run switches from true to false option c accumulated value equal equals its preset value and option d accumulated is greater than its preset value the answer is option number a that is when the later run switches it changes its position from false to true condition. Question number 4. The off delay timer T off timer start timing when the timers option number A the later run switches from false to true option B later run switches from to true to false Option number C, accumulated value equals its preset value. Option number D, accumulated is greater than its preset value. The answer is the later rung switches from true to false condition. Question number 5. The blank sentence is correct. Option A. T on timer can accumulate its accumulated time on loss of power or logic continuity. Option B, T of timer can stop its accumulated time on loss of power or logic continuity. Option number C, T on timer begins timing when the logic continuity to the timing run is lost. And the option number D, T of timer begins timing when the logic continuity to the timing run is lost. The answer is option number D that is T 
T of timer begins timing when the logic continuity to the timing rung is lost. Question number 6. When addressing an reset instruction, it must be addressed to option A, same address of the on timer, option B, same address of the off timer, option C, same address of the RT on timer, and option D, none of this. So here the answer is option number C, same address of the RT on timer. See RT on timer is written T on timer. So and when the any power is lost at that time whatever accumulation value is there is stored in particular one register. When the light is coming in the back the accumulation is start from the previous accu accumulation value okay in this case. So it is a necessary for reset instruction for, uh, to reset the accumulation value from number to zero. Question number seven. To reset the return T on timer RT on, the option A accumulated value is greater than the preset time. Option B, option B accumulated value is less than the preset time. Option C accumulated value is equal to the preset time. Option D. Reset instruction with same address of written T on timer is required. The answer is option number D that is reset, uh, reset instruction with same address of written T on timer is required. Question number 8. The interconnecting of the timers are commonly called option A cascading, option B parallel timer, option C sequencing, option D grouping. The answer is option number A, cascading. Cascading that means what? It is a series. We can connect two timers in series for developing cascading. Question number 9. When the timing of a device is not reset on a loss of power or discontinuity, the timing is said, is said to be option A save, option B continuous, option C holding and option D retentive. The answer is option number D, that is a written tube. Question number 10. Find on delay time period for the timer have the time base 0 0.1 second and preset 150. The option A is 15 second, option B 150 second, option C 1.5 second, option D 0.15 second.
The answer is option number A that is a 15 second. So see here the time delay is equal to time base multiply preset value. So it is a 0.1 second multiply 150. So answer is 15 second. Hope you receive very good information from this video. Please like, share and subscribe our channel D Azure Labs. Thank you very much for watching.